I just met Tom, uh, who's like organizing uh, the New York rides around here uh, for electric skateboarders, and he just planned me a boosted board. So the tricky part about this uh, talking point is going to be to manage to do it uh, between the trams that are passing on the Manhattan Bridge because it's very noisy over here and they just pass by all the time. Anyways, uh, it's kind of like a review but everybody has done a review of the boosted board so far. If you want to watch one, I was probably like, if you just want to watch one about boosted board, it's probably not not the best one uh, but I'm gonna give you my advice on the boosted board as my point of view which is an Evolve rider I, I ride Evolve Bamboo GT which I would say is probably the most comparable uh, electric skateboard from the Evolve brand to the boosted board uh, first I'm just gonna say like all the things that I think that are really good about the boosted board uh, Mainly the control. The control are quite amazing. Uh, the fact of being able to go back. It's not very useful uh, much time, but it's just, it's a fun, fun use. And that remote is just doing really well. So yeah, you just go and you're on it and it just goes very well. So that control is great. The acceleration, I was actually pretty impressed because I had seen some tests of acceleration and I had felt like the uh, Evolve was more powerful, which it is, I think, but yeah, it's just that acceleration on the boosted BB because it's a bit smaller, just feel uh, as, as powerful or maybe even more powerful than the Evolve one. So that's definitely a really good point. Uh, the shape of the board and the flex of the board are amazing. Like, I've been trying lately to go switch a little every now and then. And on the Evolve, because it's quite low and you got the, the wheels that are pretty big on mine. So... So, as, as I was saying before the tram came, uh, the, the sh shape of the board and the flex and the, how high it is, it's just if you want to go 180 to just go switch you can just go do this and it's just very easy I've been training on my Evolve and it's been a lot harder I feel so definitely on the shape of the board and flex of the board and everything just a really good really good feeling about it so that what is making me consider uh, maybe at some point when my board, my Evolve board is just getting uh, not as good as it used to be, just changing the board to something more similar to the boosted, definitely. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know, like the wheels are doing good, uh, like the speed, acceleration, everything. Uh, pretty, pretty impressed about it. I thought the hype was a bit too much on boosted. Because you got all the KC Neistat and like the all the major uh, tech reviewer and things like that, they're all about boosted. And now I understand the hype about it. The design is also pretty great. And yeah, just it's a little bit dirty over here, but like the way the motors are put, the the batteries and it's very clean. It's very nice. From what I've heard, so we're gonna get to the downsides and one of the downsides is kind of like about the trucks. The double pin trucks of the Evolve are considered like 
state-of-the-art trucks and just perfect for carving and just being stabilized and stuff. So that's, that's really good to what. And, and my biggest struggle with the boosted board, because I'm used to ride Evolve, would be the range. Uh, the range on those boosted, I think it's like a, it's, it's the exa extended battery and things like that. You get less than I would say 13 to 15 kilometers, which would be like about 10 miles over here. And and it's just it's, it just feels like not enough on my Evolve, which is sagging and the battery is not as good as it used to be and everything. I still get 20 kilometers out of it, uh, which would be probably around 15 miles. And that just does the whole tricks. If you want to do a long ride, 20 mo 20 kilometers is perfect. Uh, also, you get the fast charger and things like that. So I'll say that I won't consider buying a boosted board in the near future, but that's definitely definitely a good board. So that's about it for this video. I'm not gonna be too long. I'm just gonna keep putting B-roll of that really cool machine. And thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Remember that if it's easy, it's not funny. And see you in the next one.